Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome on this beautiful Friday. Well, beautiful. It's gray and rainy outside, windy. We're expecting some storm. But, but, but here today in the studio, I have for you the very first, well, I don't know if it's the first. I thought, oh no, that was evolution. The very first CF droid. GSI created for the Samsung Galaxy S9, the Star LTE, not knowing if it's gonna work as well on uh, on the Note 9 and the S9 Plus, but maybe you can do the test and see if it works. If not, you can always refer to the Pixel, what was it, uh, the Pixel 5, um, GSI that I showed that you can install that was the second video about the S9 on Android 14 so let's take a look if the CI droid will uh, install to my S9 because yeah if it was created specially for the S9 we should try it out and see if the S9 works even better some were complaining that the cam was not working but for me the cam was working fine on the uh, the Pixel, the Pixel 5, as well created by uh, Mr. Uh, Mystic, Mystic GSI. So big up to Mystic GSI. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and install it and see if it's any good. Alrighty, welcome back. So I'm copying CR Droid Star LTE 14 uh, to the S9 and I'm gonna show you how to install it because yeah, even though the thing is saying star LTE 14, um, <laughs> yeah, installing it just the normal way won't make your S9 boot. You need the trick that I showed you as well uh, before, okay? So that's very important to know, otherwise it's not gonna boot. Okay, mi amigos and amigas. This is very nice, see a droid. Okay, so there we are with the S9. I'm running Fire um, Orange Fox, but you can as well do this on, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you can as well do it on uh, on Twerp. Okay, so, oh, we're gonna flash this one as a system image. Pay attention, please. We have 2% of battery life. More than enough to do this experiment. Okay, and now you might think that you're done, but you're not. Okay, after flashing the GSI, you might think that you're done, as I just said, but you're not. I'm gonna show you what will happen if we're gonna boot the GSI without doing a little trick. And let's reboot A, eh? just like that. No OS installed, that's correct. So let's see what's gonna happen, if it's actually gonna boot. No, it's not booting. Same nonsense. Man. That is exactly how you will react. You're gonna get pissed off. You're gonna be like, damn it, why is the damn thing not booting? Especially if you're doing this for the first time on your S9, if you did not see my previous videos. Because then a bright idea should come into your head of what I taught you to do in my previous videos of how to install Android 14 to the Samsung Galaxy S9. You're gonna go to uh, in twerp you're gonna select uh, wipe and then advanced wipe and then you're gonna select uh, uh, manage partitions and then data and then we're gonna change it to f2fs okay the data partition because if you don't do that then the system will unfortunately not boot okay so it's very important to format data to f2fs 
after the installing otherwise the s9 will just like fade away and then it's gonna reboot and you're gonna be irritated and think that a hey, what gsi is not good you know that well the gsi is good but you must know how to install it it's all about knowing how to do it and if you know how to do it my ladies and gentlemen then you're gonna have success you see so um this comes without gaps it's encrypted now so yeah i don't know if you can install gaps to it uh, yeah i think this is a very nice very first uh, custom rom uh, for uh, the thing that comes with the problem as you can see a problem that we don't have uh, popping up in uh, how you say that in the pixel uh, 5 gsi that we use code name what was it again I forgot the code name redfin code, code name redfin i think that one is still a very good one but yeah maybe this is better because this was made for the device so still nice but yeah a little instruction guys uh, format data to fs after the installation otherwise you know the thing is not gonna work copies And there we are. Nice. The very first uh, C Android for the Samsung Galaxy S9 with a working phone. Welcome by Leica Mobile. So that is very nice. We have a working camera. See that? We have a working camera. The selfie should as well work. Oh, selfie is not working. Oh, it's not on selfie yet. The yeah, man, selfie is working fine. How about video? Yo, this is your boy Pock Channel 48. You know how it goes. Yeah, looking good man looking good nice music player so that means that lineage OS should come one of these days soon we're gonna have lineage OS 21 I will be that will be the day you know the ph treble uh, settings won't work if you did not root so if you're gonna tap it it's just gonna close okay um i don't need root i'm good with this uh, just gonna install aurora store to it and play with the phone a bit you know I like it being, uh, having, at least I like the fact that it has a GSI that was specially created for this device. If you're going to install this to the 9 plus, it could work. Okay. But don't forget format data to F2FS. The note, same thing, even though it's saying for the star LTE, you know, G960F, you should, um, definitely try it because gsi is gsi you know it might work you might get lucky all right good so um yeah i don't have to show even more about this project it's amazing mystic did it only a little yeah a little extra um how to manual or maybe that is being spoken about in the telegram rooms i'm not everywhere so i cannot know it's all good so good luck um guys with your c Android 9 it's been created and yeah all credits goes of course to mystic the man there mystic gsi big up and, and of course not to forget c Android theirself you know and yeah everyone that is responsible for this project big up to you all and keep up the amazing work now, even though this was created for the S9, very good possible that it works on the other device as well. Okay. Yeah, it's a GSI. So try it out. Do as much testing as you can. Uh, pH use and settings is built in. Gaps. I don't know about gaps. You know, I'm just going to install Aurora Store. That's just good for me. Good enough. But if you need to do all sorts of important things with your S9 still, then, yeah, I don't know, as Mystique 
go find the group on telegram and ask them about gaps maybe there will be a version soon without with gaps maybe there is already a version with gaps that i did not see i just took a quick look and i saw the c android i thought hey that is nice for the star lte yeah the s9 people will be so happy so here it is even though it's saying there's something wrong with the device when you boot it up for the first time this message we always get in gsis and sometimes as well in roms if they represent a higher build of android and it's one of the first roms coming out for the users to test on that device thank you for watching have a beautiful weekend uh, i'll be back later with some other uh, beautiful footage and some entertainment as well so yeah enjoy channel 48 if you did not subscribe yet subscribe to my channel leave this video a thumbs up and please share it with your friends so they can as well install android 14 onto their samsung galaxy s 9